Hi, and welcome back to Purple Color Life. In today's video, viewer request, comparing the new Toro Time Cutter with the MyRide suspension to our old Toro Time Cutter that we've had now for five summers. This is the fifth summer with it. It has the 60 inch deck, no MyRide suspension, quite a few differences between these two. So this video will be a comparison. But I also wanna add right here at the start of this video that yes, you will see this new Toro Time Cutter mowing. Someone left a comment in the previous video that it was great to see me actually mowing on the machine because there are lots of videos out there talking about this Toro Time Cutter, but very few where they're actually using it to cut the grass. So yes, stay tuned in this video. We will cut some grass just like we did in the last one with the new Toro Time Cutter. Now let's get started on these two machines. I'm not saying one's better than the other or things I like more or less, just some key differences that I've noticed. And yes, there might be some things that I prefer. So we'll talk through those as we go through this video. So if this is your first video with us, thank you for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you're interested in videos about rural living, taking care of your property, and particularly these two Toro Time Cutter Zero Turn mowers. What you're looking at here is our brand new Toro Time Cutter Max with the MyRide suspension system. I recently did a video introducing this mower on the channel, so I'll put a link to that one up above. What we're comparing it to is the mower that we've had now. This is the fifth summer with it. This is the Toro Time Cutter that we got back in the year 2020. And over the last five summers, we've used this mower to mow here at our property in Northwest Pennsylvania and at a couple cemeteries and at some other properties. I did a count right before our last video and I have done 46 videos where we were mowing or using this Toro Time Cutter. So far we've only done two with this time cutter. This will be number three. But make sure if you're interested in content like that, you subscribe to the channel so you can see us using both of these mowers as well as chainsaws, tractors, log splitters, and all that outdoor type equipment that we love to use here in rural Northwest Pennsylvania. Let's talk first about what these machines have in common. So similarity number one, they both are zero turn mowers that are made by Toro. They both are classified residential use and perhaps late commercial use. They both have fabricated decks. So here on our previous generation Toro Time Cutter, you can see fabricated deck 60 inch. Now if this were clean, you'd be able to see that a lot easier. But this is the 60 inch iron forged cutting system. On the New generation Toro Time Cutter, 54 inch iron forged cutting system. So different size deck, but the same construction type. Both of these machines use a system that we really like for adjusting the deck height. Use your foot, pull the pin, choose your height, release. You're mowing at that height. Jennifer and I both love that system because you're using your foot to lift the deck. And there are times, especially at the cemetery, where I just need to temporarily lift the deck. It's nice to be able to just push my foot, temporarily lift the deck as I go over an obstacle, and then put it back down. The new generation Toro Time Cutter also has a foot pedal, same drop pin system, a little bit different pedal because it's much bigger for your foot, but I just don't know whether that's better or worse, it's just different. Both of these mowers have discharge cover that covers up the blade. You can see the blade does extend out beyond the cover of the deck when there's not a chute covering it. That's why I've got new chute on order. This one did last us over four summers before it broke. Here on the new generation Toro Time Cutter, same thing, blade sticks out beyond, so you wanna make sure you always keep that covered. I do have to strap the discharge chute up in order to load either one of these machines into our six by 12 enclosed trailer. Next, we'll talk about some of the key differences between them, and then we'll talk about some of the more subtle differences that I've noticed. So the differences, obviously the biggest one, our new Toro Time Cutter Max has the MyRide suspension system. Our old Toro Time Cutter does not have MyRide suspension. So let's talk about that MyRide suspension and how much of a difference it really makes. I will say that this yard that we mow about 25 years ago was a hay field, a pasture field. And how it became a yard was me brush hogging it and mowing it over the last 22 years. That's how it became a yard. Yes, we did do some lawn treatments to it over time, 
but this never was a perfectly smooth lawn surface. It's always had bumps and ruts and it's never been a smooth ride whether you're on the Ford 8N mowing it or if you're on a John Deere riding mower or on any mower I've ever used, it's always been a rough ride. The Toro Time Cutter that we've had for the last five years, same thing, it's a bit of a bumpy ride whenever you're mowing. With the new Toro Time Cutter, that all changed. It really smooths out the ride and it's amazing. It keeps your whole body steady while the rest of the machine is going over all those bumps and ruts. So worth the money? Absolutely. If you've got a rough yard like ours, The My Ride suspension system makes a huge difference in smoothing out your ride while you're mowing. Especially when you're going at a pretty decent speed, all those vibrations over time, you kind of feel that in your butt and your back. Um, the My Ride system really smooths that out and I haven't felt those bumps when I'm mowing. It also makes starts and stops a little bit smoother. So imagine when you're on a roller coaster and you come to the stop, sometimes you hit that brake and it's an abrupt forward jerk. Sometimes that's how it is on the zero turn if you don't let off the propulsion easy. Sometimes you just come to a stop and you kind of slow down real quick, put it in park. With the new Toro Time Cutter, it slows all that motion down. So if you come to a stop a little bit too fast, the seat keeps some of that momentum so you don't feel that jerk forward or reverse. So you can see here the seat and the entire platform where your feet are, are all on that suspension system. So if I push down on this, you can see how that whole platform moves while the mower stays still. The opposite of that happens while you're mowing. The mower's moving and the platform stays still. Another key difference between these two machines, on our old machine, we had the smart speed control system. This is how I learned to drive a zero turn mower five years ago. Started out in turtle speed, worked my way up to medium, ended up in rabbit speed, and the video that Jennifer just did with me a few days ago, she talked about that same progression of learning, starting with the slow and working their way up to the fast. The other nice thing about the smart speed control system is, when I'm at the cemetery, I always mow in that middle mode because I'm working around gravestones and trees and shrubs and it's a little bit easier to maneuver in a medium speed. The new Toro Time Cutter Max, there is no smart speed control system. It is one speed, fits all. Another difference I've noticed between these two machines, the front dolly wheels on our old Toro Time Cutter are quite a bit wider. Those are 13 by 6.5 by 6. These ones are 12 by 6 by 5. So perhaps these ones give you low rolling resistance for better fuel economy. These ones give you more flotation over that rough surface. The tire size difference continues on the back. On our previous throw time cutter, you can tell it's the old one because of how dirty it is. These rears are 20 by 10 10s. Nice, wide, floaty tire. On the new Toro Time Cutter, 20 by 10 by eight. A little bit smaller tire. And where that difference is, is right in the hub. So the 20 by 10 is the same, 20 inches tall, 10 inches wide, eight inch hubs, eight inch rims, versus this one, 20 inches tall, 10 inches wide, 10 inch rims. And that might be because these Voodoo tires have a little bit more squish to the ride. So it feels a little bit better, a little bit smoother ride, and maybe it allows that traction to dig in a little bit better. So let's talk about those rear tires. I have blamed in the past those turf tires for getting me stuck a few times with the Toro Time Cutter. I even made a video about how to avoid getting stuck or how to, if you do get stuck, how to get out of that situation. I'll put a link to that up above. 
The new Voodoo tires, some people have commented that's really going to tear up your yard. So far I haven't noticed any more tearing up the yard with the Voodoo tires than with these turf tires. But I have noticed quite a bit more grip in soft grass with the Voodoo tires than with the old tires. Another difference between these two machines, the old Toro Time Cutter has the Toro engine and it says commercial V-twin 24 and a half horsepower. Now I have had zero issues with this engine. It's worked great for everything I needed. Plenty of power, easy to do the oil changes and we put videos of how to do that. I'll put links up above. Really easy to maintain this lawnmower engine and no complaints about it. With the new Toro Time Cutter, we get the Kawasaki engine. A little bit better brand name, but a little bit less horsepower. This is 23 horsepower. And the difference I've noticed between them, and maybe it's all in my head, but I'm gonna do a sound test. The sound level of the Kawasaki engine, only 23 horsepower, seems quite a bit quieter than the sound level of the Toro commercial engine, 24 and a half horsepower. Okay, I mentioned that I think the new Kawasaki engine is quieter. So I have the decibel meter here on my phone. We're gonna test, seated on the seat, at an idle and at full throttle, the sound level of both of these machines. Okay, seated on the new Toro Time Cutter. We'll start it up and we'll go down to an idle and then we'll go up to full throttle. Okay, at a low idle. Another subtle difference I'll point out, with the new Kawasaki engine, you can shut it off with the throttle in any position. If I take a seat over here on the old Toro Time Cutter, you see the note, shut down engine at full throttle. All right, let's start this up. We'll idle it down and then we'll do the same. Always recommend wearing hearing protection. That engine is right behind your head the whole time you're mowing. And as you saw at full throttle, we are in the upper 80s, um, 87, 88, 85, 86 on both machines. So it's best to protect your hearing when running these pieces of equipment. The next thing I wanna talk about since I have my headphones out is storage. Here on the old Toro Time Cutter, I keep my bungee strap and my headphones right here. The bungee strap is what I use to hold the discharge chute up when I'm entering the trailer. And I also have storage underneath the seat and a cup holder and storage over here. Let's take a look at the new machine. We lose that under seat storage because of the MyRide suspension, totally worth it. We lose the storage back behind the controls because of the MyRide settings. Again, worth it. We still keep the cup holder in a nice deep pocket right here for your cell phone or your sunglasses. But there is not a great place to put my headphones. So that is one thing I miss on the new machine. I like keeping the bungee cord and the headphones right there. I always know where they are, but that's just a minor thing. While we're looking at this other, while we're looking at the control area, basically the same controls, start, choke, throttle, electronic engagement of PTO. But you'll see our old Toro time cutter does have an hour meter. Here on the new Toro time cutter, again, start, choke, throttle control, electronic PTO engage, but no hour meter. Now I have watched a video from another content creator where he shows how to cut out and there's actually a hole right here for an hour meter. I'll put the link, the Amazon link to that hour meter in this video if you'd like to add that to your machine. And then in a future video, I'll show how that's done because I plan on ordering that hour meter and putting it on my machine. I use the hour meter all the time to keep track of maintenance and how many hours we put on the machine each year. 
Another pretty big difference on the new Toro time cutter, it's an easy hand knob to adjust the position of your control levers. On the old Toro time cutter, yes, they are adjustable, but you've got to get your wrenches out and it's only slightly adjustable. Operation of these two machines is basically the same other than that smart speed control system. It's still uh, using the joysticks to go forward and reverse and one side forward, one side backward makes you spin around. I do have a video of how to start and operate your zero turn mower or five tips to learning to drive a zero turn. I'll put a link to that up above for anyone who's new to zero turns. Okay, another difference I want to point out. With the 60 inch fabricated deck, I want you to notice how much deck you get beyond the wheel. So this means that I can travel along the edge of a ditch, let the deck hang over top and trim the grass or weeds that are growing outside of where I can drive. Same thing with going along a sidewalk. I can keep the edge of the sidewalk right here and trim the grass on the other side of it. So you get quite a bit of deck width sticking out beyond the wheel of this machine. When you downsize to the 54 inch deck, you can see your cutting width doesn't extend out nearly as far beyond the wheel. Still extends out, so you are gonna cut wider than the stance of your vehicle, wider than the tracks you're leaving in your yard, that's a good thing but not quite as far as with that 60 inch deck. Another huge difference between these two machines, the new machine has a five gallon gas tank. That means I can mow way longer without having to refill. The old machine only has a three gallon gas tank, but it also has an advantage to that three gallon gas tank. One of the things I miss the most when I'm mowing on the new machine, even when I got it out here tonight to make this video, I wondered how much gas do I have? And on that machine, there is not an easy way to tell. Whereas on our old machine, this little cutout lets us see into the fuel tank level to see how much fuel we have. You can see we have about half a tank of gas or at least half of this display has gas visible. If you shake it around a little bit, you can see it move around in there. Unfortunately, even though you have five gallons of gas on the new Toro, there's not an easy way to see how much you have left. So I've tried looking down here under the seat. You can kind of see that big fuel tank, but it's difficult to see how much is left in it. So I wish that was a little bit easier to determine how much gas you have left in the tank. As far as the fuel fill, they both have really nice big openings. Easy to put your gas can down in there. I know on the new Toro, they are advertising that this is easier to fill because it's an automotive style fill at an angle. I don't know that there's a benefit for me either way. The kind of nice thing about the old way for me was that I had the ability to leave the tank kind of propped up here as I'm pouring it in so you're not holding that weight. I feel like in the new style, especially when you're filling it with five gallons, you're holding that weight up a little bit more than you did on the old one. Another difference I want to point out is how the deck is mounted. So if we look at our old Toro time cutter here, I have never, not one time in five summers, removed that deck. First of all, I've never needed to. And second of all, it looks like it's not that easy. Maybe it is. But I've never done it, so I wouldn't know. On the new Toro time cutter, hopefully I also never have to remove the deck, but it looks easier because it's held on with a chain that you can easily slide off of the mount. The same goes for the back end. So, again, hopefully I never have to remove the deck, but if I did, the new Toro time cutter seems like it's an easier deck removal system. Another difference we'll point out while we're here at the deck, an advantage to the new system, here on the old mower, you've got to take these bolts out to remove the covers to clean the grass or anything out from under there. Mice also love to build nests in there. Here on the new machine, 
there's a pin. You can easily pull the pin off, take the cover off, and clean out underneath there. Another difference is how you can board these machines. So the old Toro time cutter without the MyRide system, there's an easy step right here. Just put your foot on it, climb right up onto the machine, turn around, take a seat. On the new Toro Time Cutter Max with the MyRide system, they say you can step on the deck. I'm just not a huge fan of doing that. I know they say it's okay, but I don't like to do that. So I've just been stepping up onto the MyRide suspension, turning around and having a seat. I'm sure I'll notice other differences over time, but I wanted to show you one more and then we're gonna to get to mowing with this new machine. Another difference, and it's because of the MyRide suspension, which is a really good difference, the seat adjustment is now a lever. So just like in most manual seat adjustment cars, you can just pull this lever that lets you slide the seat forward or back. I like that, it locks the seat in place. I've had trouble with my other Toro time cutter because over time, the seat adjustment, which is those bolts and the hand knobs, loosen up and I find myself sliding forward when I'm going downhill. And one other thing while we're here, the old Toro time cutter has armrests. And I really like those armrests. And I thought, how am I going to live mowing without the armrests? But now that I've mowed on this one, I don't even miss the armrests. So I'm not sure why I thought I had to have them. And they do seem like a nice thing to have. But I find myself, for some reason, not missing them on that seat. Maybe this seat is more comfortable. Maybe it's because you're sitting a little bit higher. So when you're getting off, you can just step off. I find myself pushing off of these armrests to get up out of that seat when I'm in this Toro Time Cutter. So that could be why. But someone did ask in a previous video, do I miss the armrests? I thought I would. So far, I haven't noticed not having them. I'm sure I didn't cover all the differences between these two machines, and I'll find others over time. I'll add those into future videos. But for now, those are my first impressions of differences between the old machine and the new machine. Some things I prefer on the old machine, like that cutaway that lets me see how much fuel. Some things I prefer on the new machine, like the fact that it has five gallons of gas for me to use while I'm mowing. So yes, there are things that I prefer about each machine. If I had to pick one or the other, that would be really difficult. I'm glad I don't have to make that decision. If you have one or both or the other of this machine, leave those comments down below on things that I forgot to mention about the differences between these two Toro time cutters. That will be helpful to other people who are shopping for machines like this. I believe this one without the MyRide and with the 60 inch deck and the Toro engine is still available at stores, but I'm not 100% sure. I know for sure that this Toro time cutter with the 54 inch deck and the MyRide suspension and the Kawasaki engine is available at stores. And if you're looking for one with a setup just like this, it's model 77503. Okay, you've heard me talk long enough and I didn't get any mowing done yet. So it's time to hop on the new Toro Time Cutter and get some mowing done. If you'd like to watch me mow on this machine, go ahead and keep watching. If you're done watching and don't need to see me mow, leave those comments down below, click that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again the next time. I'm gonna get those headphones on, get these mowers put away, except for the new one, which I'm gonna mow the entire front yard with before it gets dark. I did just think of one other difference when that tree clunked me in the head. This Toro time cutter does sit taller. So what I used to be able to make it underneath 
the limbs without ducking, now I have to duck. Another thing I noticed on the Toro time cutter, when I make this turn right here, I used to always spin with the other Toro time cutter, which would actually, actually dig up the grass a little bit. With these new tires, I was worried I would dig it up even more, but instead of digging it up, I'm just not spinning, so I'm not digging it up at all. Let's get back to mowing.